Hey, what's going on, everybody? Max here with Because Bitcoin. And today for 10 Minutes Max, we are going to be talking about Bitcoin, altcoins, altcoins representation of the total crypto pie. And of course, we have the Bitcoin having in just a couple of days. So we're going to talk about what that potentially means for price as well. Before we get into it, guys, if you could do me a solid and please like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'm obviously very, very focused on, you know, all time highs and all time high breaks. Um, as anybody should be, but I'm more so focused on them less because they're fun, which of course they are, but more so what it potentially means for, you know, other cryptos and rotations and, and where money flows after we see something like that. Um, all right. So here's Bitcoin. Again, I have it in orange. Um, let's uh, let's put it on the 10 day, actually. Why not? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to throw a couple other things up here. So we're going to throw others up here one that you guys should all be familiar with now. I talk about it, I feel like, every day now. And, of course, the reason why I talk about others every day now is because it's been my my base case for a while now that we are about to see a major cyclical rotation into altcoins, um, which, of course, would imply others performing quite well. And just a reminder for those that are newer here, um, others is everything in crypto minus the top 10 um, by market cap. So that would ex exclude Bitcoin. And think of it as your altcoin index. It's got all your mid cap and small cap altcoins minus the top 10 big ones. Okay. So this is, um, mark this out, previous all time high. All right. And you know, I'll just put it in the middle. All right. We'll put it in the middle. Oops. Wrong one. Put it in the center. And then we'll mark out the same thing here previous all time high. And we will put this in the center. Now, we're going to throw on one more thing here, um, and then we're going to talk about it. So then we're going to throw up Others Dominance. Others Dominance is Others, this blue uh, this blue candlestick chart right here, represented as a percentage of the total crypto asset class. So right now, again, it's 11% down here. Um, and when it goes up, that means that altcoins are gaining a larger piece of the pie um, than you know, your majors like Bitcoin, ETH, Sol, BNB, you know, your top 10. Um, so basically, it means when it, it's going up, mid cap and small cap altcoins are performing better than you know your majors, your blue chips. Um, when it's going down, that means that your blue chips are a better hold. So we'll put this into a candlestick chart as well. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it this color. That's fine. Just just your normal. We don't need to make it too fancy. All right. So now that we got the stage set and we talked about what some of this stuff is, I want to highlight a couple things. Um, that typically, you know, that typically occur, you know, right around Bitcoin making an all-time high. So if we were trying to figure out like where we are in this cycle, right? Like where are we? Okay. Um, in my opinion, we'd probably be closest to, I mean, well, obviously for one, like right here, right? Previous, previous cycle, all-time high. But what I meant to say was like, you know, where could we be at in like this larger picture? So let's let's mark out a couple of things. In my opinion, the way that I view this chart is, you know, this right here, and I'll mark it with a dashed line. Hopefully you guys can see that right here is basically what happened to Bitcoin kind of recently. All right, right over here where you know, we kind of consolidated and we we kind of paused and then we had like a very aggressive push up to, you know, to the previous or I'm sorry, to the previous cycle all time high. So you can see like the similarities even right here, you know, with this little like move up and then rejection and then drop. We had a very similar type of move here. And then again, kind of straight up in a straight line, sweep the previous all time high. So I'm drawing this line here because that's where I believe that we are. During that period of time when Bitcoin moved up to its previous cycle all-time high, which is like a very aggressive move, what happened to altcoins, right? So you can see here that others, which is your you know small and mid-cap altcoins, they moved up as well, right? Like they, they moved up, but did they move up quite as much? You know, we'll put that in orange, <laughs> just kind of as like a as a testament to Bitcoin being orange, right? It did underperform. And then here's others dominance and here, just, just a others D. So we'll put others D down here, just so you guys don't forget. And then of course, this is others and then Bitcoin, okay? So what happened here? Bitcoin beelined all the way up to the previous all-time high. 
previous cycle all-time high. Others did move up, but obviously not as much because if you look here at others' dominance, you can see that others' dominance, which again is a representation of the total uh, piece of the pie that small and mid-cap altcoins represent in all of crypto, actually moved down. And again, this was, this was last cycle. So let's look at where we're at right now. Let's scroll over. Again, I think this is your most comparable place because again, from a structural standpoint and also cyclical and timing, this was the move that led up to the previous cycle all-time high and Bitcoin ultimately making a new all-time high. So let's again, let's mark it out, right? What happened here? Bitcoin moves up aggressively. And what happened to others, which is, you know, small and mid cap altcoins, it moved up. You know, it certainly moved up, but did it move up quite as much? Well, let's look at others dominance. So from this point right here, we're actually technically moving down. So others dominance is losing market share or losing that piece of the pie to majors right now. Bitcoin, ETH, Sol, BNB, you know, your top 10, okay? So again, very similar thing that we saw happen over here in 2020, which was on this very important push up to making a new all-time high, which we did over here in 2020, all to move up, but they actually don't move up as much as Bitcoin. Again, same thing here. So what, what, what do I think happens next? Well, similarly to what happened here in, in 2020, I am expecting others dominance to actually begin to move up because you know similarly we basically did this same thing you know even going back further let's mark this out in uh we'll just put this in in purple okay basically you know all through the bear market you know or like kind of chop zone at the end of the bear market you can see that others dominance was you know grinding up very similarly to you know in our bear market here recently we saw the exact same thing you know, going back even further. So I think this is playing out almost exactly like the previous cycle. Um, and this next move up will end up becoming, you know, the the turnaround point for others dominance, which of course would imply, you know, altcoins getting sent, small and mid cap altcoins getting sent much harder than Bitcoin, in my opinion, on this inevitable turnaround. So, you know, maybe we do this and then altcoins move up hard. And I do expect Bitcoin, you know, to move up, but it'll probably not move up quite as much. That would be what it's implying. So, again, we are seeing some very similar signs kind of under the surface that we did, in fact, see last cycle, um, where, again, you know, we others dominance throughout, you know, the very tail end of the bear market and, and accumulation before a bull market. Others dominance slowly grinds up. Bitcoin goes on to make that 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 huge push to make a new cyclical high. Um, others dominance drops hard. And then once it springs out of it, we begin to see altcoin mania. And again, I, I do believe with, you know, a pretty high degree of conviction that that is more or less what we are about to see. Uh, at least I'm, I'm certainly hoping that that would be, that'd be really fun to have a nice alt season. And, and again, I, I think the only the market knows, but I do believe that the stage has been set for something like this. And again, we are seeing very similar signs. So we, we are seeing very similar signs. We'll take a quick look here um, as well. Um, actually, let's do this just because we have a minute. Let's throw on the Bitcoin halvings and I will remove all of these drawings for now. because we don't need them. You know, let's look at what happens, you know, with the Bitcoin halving, right? Like, how can I get bearish? <laughs> how, and I don't need this right now. We can just look at Bitcoin. You know, look at what happens after every single Bitcoin having, right? Like look at what happens. Even if we want to ignore all the, you know, the under the surface stuff, you know, all you know, altcoin dominance and total three and ratios and pairs and, you know, just really simplify it, right? Like what happens after a Bitcoin having? <laughs> every time, right? I mean, who am I to ignore over a decade's worth of data? And that's what this is. It's 2024, this goes back to 2012. Um, is it a coincidence that Bitcoin goes straight up after every having? Is it a conspiracy? I don't know. You decide. But, you know, in the simplest of terms, this looks pretty dang good to me. And, you know, even if we throw on something like Doge dominance, which, by the way, Doge dominance is very important because um, Doge is kind of like the king altcoin, believe it or not. Doge is older than ETH and you can actually get more altcoin data um, because it's it's older. So, you know, here we are looking at 
looking at our King altcoin. And typically after a Bitcoin halving, again, Bitcoin goes up aggressively, as you can see here. Got the halvings marked out by these, these thick vertical uh, black lines. Of course, we have our chart, the, the price goes up. But then, of course, you, you begin to see, you know, moves like this for, you know, for Doge dominance. Well, not Doge dominance. This is, this is uh, Doge BTC. So altcoin, uh, king altcoin paired against Bitcoin. And you, you know, you see outperformance slightly after. So maybe, again, we see this little bleed, like we've seen, you know, the the, the previous two cycles, um, where you know Doge and a lot of altcoins slightly after the Bitcoin having just kind of chop and bleed a little bit, but then you get that sort of manic outperformance. So we'll see if something like this happens again, where you know maybe we just kind of move sideways and chop, and then you know, maybe later this year, we start to see the fireworks. But either way, that's it, guys. That's 10 minutes max. We got close to 10 minutes today. Definitely a little bit long. But hey, that, that's how we do it. <laughs> it's kind of a joke at this point. Before you guys go, please consider liking and subscribing it really helps us grow. Definitely also consider checking out the first link in the description below that will take you to our website where you can sign up for our premium discord where we share all of our active positions premium analysis that we don't talk about here on YouTube or on X. And we do over two hours a day of private live voice calls with Q&A with me and the rest of the Because Bitcoin team. It will absolutely take your trading to the next level. Additionally, within the next month and a half, you are going to get free access included in your Discord membership to our new flagship product called the BB Terminal. It's got portfolio tracking, spaghetti charts, heat maps, derivatives data, agar, everything that you need to succeed in these markets. And again, all bundled into one super website. And that will be included in your Discord membership. First link in the description below for no additional cost. Definitely consider signing up sooner rather than later. The second link in the description below is to BB Academy. This is basically our trading academy. We've been working on it and finally just finished it. It took us over six months. Again, right now it's $199.99. And if you want to learn to master the art of technical analysis, definitely consider checking that out, guys. I teach you all of my tricks, all of my secrets, as well as the rest of the Because Bitcoin team. And it's only $199.99 right now. Prices are going up soon, so definitely consider checking that out sooner rather than later. And if you want to expedite your journey into navigating financial markets from a TA and FA standpoint, we can save you that time through BB Academy. And again, that is the second link in the description below. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.